based on what's happening south of the border right now, there's a couple of things that could kind of mess up this inflation that's been coming down. And that has to have effects on the rest of the market, especially the real estate market. And I can't see these things not having effects on us here in Canada. I mean, specifically, TK, I am talking about... What? You got this port worker union strike in the States, okay? Okay. You got the whole eastern side of the United States ports on a closure right now, right? And We're not uh, accepting any goods. No, but the, you got this uh, mob boss, I mean, uh, union boss over there who's gone out in interviews saying, like, we're going to win this and we're or we're going to crush this economy. And people don't even understand what it's going to be like. And in mm-hmm. week one, they're going to be talking on the news. And in week two, the car dealerships are going to start to close and fire people because they can't get their, their cars. And in week three, I know, the malls I know. are going to close. But this is there. a union guy who's negotiating right now. So obviously, he's going to paint a really dire picture. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of manipulation going on. Buy into all the news articles. Answers to your it's these. So, there, it is. This is why. This is why people put out the news. I mean, this is the whole point of the news. It's not to propaganda. Uh, give people like the information exactly the way that it's 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 being uh, you know uh, viewed or or experienced. It's it's just about how to make how do I position this Fine. in order to create some sort of thought, feeling, or emotion in the people who are reading it. That's so it. you don't That's think that. The port stopping. Of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. But at the end of the day, they're going to be able it's to get those ports. It's not going to be as bad as that guy says it is. Opened, and they'll be able to run a, a shift. It's like when they were doing the gardener. You know what I mean? It's like they closed down the gardener for thirty six hours. They had one hundred and seventy five people out there working double time to be able to get the work done that they needed to get done. They'll do the same thing. Those union guys will be like, "Sweet, we negotiated now our you know double time overtime, and now they want us to work all weekend." All right, let's do it. And they'll catch back up. Like it's, believe me, these things don't. Um, so it's transitory, TK? Is this a transitory <laughs> blip in inflation again? Or I don't know. No I have effect? no idea to what I'm talking about. Get At it. the end of the day, I'm Run trying to tell you that, uh, you know, promoting and spreading this fear doesn't uh, doesn't help anybody. I heard that one of the main reasons that they went on strike. Do you want to hear this, TK? Sure. I feel like there's some validity here, and it may not be the main reason that they went on strike, but apparently some of the people that work on these ports have um, noticed people screaming inside the containers, and they're fed up with uh, knowing that they're shipping humans from place to place. What do you think about that? Is that like valid? Do you think that there's some validity there? Do you think there's people in some of these containers? I think that if I had a tinfoil hat right now, I'd probably put it on and we could call this conspiracy corner. <laughs> yes, TK. But I, I mean, that's I mean, a new segment we should do. There's people saying these things out there in the wild. Yeah. So hold on. So I'm a union worker. Yeah. I'm working on this ship. Yeah. I've, I've, I've got a job making, I don't know, 30 bucks an hour, whatever it is. Yeah, right? Okay. There's human beings inside a a a, yeah. a shipping container yeah. that this I have some happens, sort of control yeah. over, yeah. and I just ignore it. No. I don't call anybody. I don't no. like call the police. No, you call this you know? dude, and you go, "I'm gonna need a bit more money to deal with I this." I don't. Shit I don't call. Day. I just call my boss and say, "Is this, this is this this is this Are supposed to happen?" People in there. I heard people just screaming and the sound of scratching at the walls. Is that yeah. is that is that normal? Uh, and this, just, we just decided back. we're going to give you a ten dollar an hour pay increase, Bobby. So just yeah. shut the fuck up and do <laughs> your goddamn job and keep this Listen, thing going, Bobby. Eventually, there'd be a Bobby who called the police to be able to get whoever was in those containers out, and this yeah. would have been a whole, uh, you know, big story. So no, I don't buy it. Well, so and, and I could other, be wrong. I, I, listen, what do I know? Yeah, I'm not you, there. You might be wrong. Yeah. And, well, so and other people are saying that this has to do with uh, automation and that they're striking because they're trying to stop automated ports like they have in China from yeah. coming to the United States and displacing well, this all is, these jobs. This is, uh, you know, this is a problem. You know, this is a problem. 
this is a problem. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 uh, most industries are facing right now. We actually just implemented some AI in our, uh, in our company. Right. Oh, yeah. So yeah, just in some of like the CRM stuff like that, there's really not much you can do, but bottom line is AI is coming. And when AI you have here automation through your, um, simple tasks, like, you know, shipping containers and all the things that they do, I'm sure China's got it figured out real good. You know, these guys have to, you know, protect themselves at all costs. Have you not seen the videos they've of They've got China? a little bit of leverage. China's got like 12-year-old kids, like video game setups in computers running like they've got like 25% of the people all inside. Nobody has to go outside, deal with weather. Everybody's on a computer controlling all of this, this machines on the port. Yeah. Like it's a video game. Like it's Well, GTA that's how it should 5. be. How is it like, how is that not the right way to do it? So these port guys right? will have to eventually, uh, you know, get replaced. But that replaced. takes time. That takes time. The investment right now in automation is dismal. Well, if you could replace 75% of these bastard union workers that want the cost, more money to haul kids the, back and forth. PK. The cost of the equipment and the software and everything else. Robots is just, will let those kids through. No problem. No questions asked. Back and I'm forth. I'm just saying. And who's going who's gonna to tell the uh, uh, robots when there's somebody stuck inside the shipping container? Well, maybe that's the whole point, Daryl. Hold on. Let's put the tinfoil hat on again. Right. Maybe they're trying to smuggle these humans and they're like, these other humans are getting in the way. We need robots. We need robots here. We need robots. It's enough yeah. already, right? Yeah. And we'll save a, a ton of money. Hey guys, thanks for watching our clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. I like that. That was good.